that's Pinard. Whenever you see, focus here, whenever you see a horizontal septum in the spinoid, that indicates that there is a condition of onodesal. See here, coming from here, horizontal septum, horizontal septum, horizontal septum. This is vertical septum. The dividing the right and left spinoid, the horizontal septum, horizontal septum, horizontal. So this is onodis situation. Thank you, buddy. So in intraoperatively, how to identify this onodis situation? This is preoperative assessment. Preoperatively, you must assess onodis situation yes. in every CT scan. Intraoperatively, first you define the maxillary line. That means the superior border of the middle meatus. If you extrapolate that here super border of the middle matter. If to extrapolate that, that means imaginary line, it leads to your spinoid sinus. Spinoid osteo. Osteo. Now, once you have done the middle meatus opening, try to identify this maxillary line and extrapolate it and don't go into the postethmoidal cells. Try to open the spinoid osteo medially and then once you open this, remove the cells anterior to the anterior wall of the spinoid. When you are trying to remove it, when you have seen a cone shaped cell, that is Ponodi situation. Yes, nice. So, with experience you can do with this removal of post cells with the deep bladder. But the safest thing is, Take a gauge piece or any uh, marrow cell, press it, wait for some time, everything is decongested, you can remove cell by cell. <coughs> once you are removing cell by cell, you can see the cone shaped structure. So once you identify this cone shaped structure, always when you entered, the minute you entered the post mites, always you see the lateral part. Your optic nerve may be exposed. So always, once you cross the basal lamella, vertical part of the basal lamella, always look laterally. And two things you have to observe, cone shape and laterally optic nerve. Try to open the, this extrapolator, try to open this, take a true cut, slowly, slowly remove the uh, anterior wall of the spinoid. So intermediate approach is the better thing. Laterally it is risky. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is western part of the basal lamella. Antrithmoid artery is always just anterior to the vertical part of the basal lamella. The minute you cross the basal lamella, that means you are entering into the posterior parts. The minute you cross the focus here, the minute the minute you cross the basal lamella, the minute you cross the basal lamella, always look laterally. At any point, you should not injure optic nerve. That is our goal. So, once you cross the basal lamella, look laterally. See this. This is cone shape, and it is optic nerve. The recess above it is called supra optic recess. The recess below it is called infra optic recess. These two leads to anterior process. So, as a face surgeon, once you cross the basal lamella, look laterally and always anticipate the cone shaped structure that is conodicent situation and try to identify it and always look laterally, never injure it and try to go medially with a true cut, not with the deep rider, slowly as a beginner and junior to slowly remove the and the wall of the skin. Uh, when you are trying to remove the spinatal septum, never twist it, only true cut, true cut with a 45 degree or 0 degree, true cut. And once you cross the basal lamella, vertical part of the basal lamella, always keep your eye laterally and 
you have to observe the conical shape of the anode itself and you have to expect the optic nerve in the lateral part of the anode itself so once you cross the vertical part of the basal lamella keep an eye on the lateral wall and try to identify the optic nerve better not to use the deep rider use simple blake slip guard piece or mirror silk mop it keep it for some time slowly remove cell by cell and how you do in a peanut dissection in head and neck you take a peanut with blake slip and keep it there and give some pressure everything will be decongested devascularize the septa or posterior mantle cells then slowly remove cell by cell thank you